Celebrating the Dolby Atmos Composer Essential going free for everyone, we have created a special demo session to show you how to get started with mixing in Dolby Atmos. So let me quickly walk you through the session. Hello everybody, I'm Thomas from Fiedler Audio and this video is part of a series of mixing tips for getting you started with producing in Dolby Atmos in your favorite DAW. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay up to date with the latest news tips and tricks. Here we have our multi-track project which was originally a stereo mix. We now added Dolby Atmos to it using the Dolby Atmos Composer Essential without changing the original stereo mix. You can switch between the stereo mix and its Dolby Atmos version by bypassing and re-enabling the Composer plugin sitting on the master channel. We have chosen to use a simple approach of adding Atmos by creating a few buses which are routed to the different virtual speaker positions of our composite. On those buses, there is a Dolby Atmos Beam Essential plugin, which comes with the Dolby Atmos Composer Essential and acts as a panner for the incoming audio, sending it directly to the composer. Each of these beams are panned to the virtual speaker position as indicated by the respective AUX track name. Bus 1 goes to the front stereo speakers, bus 2 goes to the center, bus 3 to the wide stereo and so forth. The only remaining thing we had to do to get going with Atmos is sending each of our tracks from the mix to one or more of those AUX tracks. Sending it to more than one of the AUX tracks makes a mixing track appear in more than one direction in the 3D audio field of Atmos. Let's go through the different tracks of the mix. The three bass tracks and the vocals are sent to the front stereo speakers. A bit of the vocals are also sent to the center speaker and to the rear tops as well, to give them the huge embracing sound while maintaining directional clarity. The acoustic guitar, the piano and some synths are sent to the wide stereo speakers to enhance the front panorama and get some more separation between those tracks and the bass plus vocals. The other synth tracks are distributed across the other speaker positions on the horizontal plane and above. In the original mix, we of course had a lot of plugins on the tracks and ascent effects as well. To be able to provide you with the effect returns without you needing the effect plugins, we rendered them as extra audio tracks going to their own beams. We switched those beams to become dynamic objects, as they are not panned to a fixed speaker position, but somewhere in between according to taste, and thereby guarantee best spatial rendering on any playback device. Last but not least, let's check out the binaural settings of each Atmos channel in the composer. We switched the front stereo speakers and the center to near for having the best impact from transients, while having spatialization applied to them. The wide stereo channels are set to mid to improve their externalization and all other channels of the composite and the objects of the effect returns are set to far for having the maximum spatial impression as they contain mostly non-transient audio. Please feel free to play around with all the settings and the routing to get acquainted with the Dolby Atmos Composer way of mixing. On our homepage, we have recently created a knowledge base where you can download the project used in this video for most available DLWs. There is a link in the description. In the knowledge base, you will find also all the tutorials for our products as well as session templates. 
we will continue to expand this knowledge base so that all information can be found easily in one place. Let us know what you think about this mixing tip in the comments below. Also, please let us know if you have any specific question or suggestion about mixing in Dolby Atmos, which you would like to see a good explanation video about. And that's it for this video. We hope it's been helpful. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of any updates. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.